Hello there and welcome to my opinion once again. My name is Nico Omosmo and I am here today to talk about something else. Let's talk about virginity. Virginity. Well, such an uncommon thing to be actually talking about and such an uncommon thing in our world these days. But is it really that uncommon? Because it all boils down to the society you find yourself. Yes, no matter what society you find yourself, it would be an uncommon phenomenon. But at the end of the day, we still have quite a lot of virgins. And Mr. Foss, don't you agree? I believe you agree with me. Well, it boils down to the company you've been keeping though, because you might be keeping some sort of companies where you would have never met one. And I'm talking about both sexes, for boys and for girls, yes. I happen to know a lot, fortunately or unfortunately, but it all boils down to your orientation, whether it's fortunate or unfortunate. Now let's talk about virginity. You know how it is if a guy says he's a virgin among his peers of the same sex? Whoa. Now there are two kinds of virgins. Those who are shy about it. And those who are not really shy about it but just they're just humble about it. And then we have those who are really loud about it. Yeah. And really it takes quite a lot of balls to be well, just as I said, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. If you have some friends who are of the same thought, same mindset and same orientation. You know, whether it be religious or cultural orientation that makes them find the fact that one of their pairs, the one being a virgin, is acceptable. Well, that's good. But in society, with civilization and modernization, even in cultures where virginity was more like a priority, especially for unmarried people, you know, young people, teenagers, young adults, generally unmarried people, you know, virginity, virginity, virginity. Well, does it just denote the fact that your hymen, the tiny piece of skin, standing in the way of your vagina, is still intact? Considering the fact that probably you haven't been penetrated you know, by any means involving either sexual contact or other means? Is that all it is about? Yeah, let's talk about the Virgin Mary actually. What was the reason she was the chosen one among all the other maidens? Because she had her hymen intact. Because she had met or had sex with any man. Really? Would that be just it? Do you know what she said to the angel at the time? That point in the Bible where she said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Now, do you know what a handmaid is? It doesn't boil down to just have being a virgin. It boils down to character, attitude, obedience, competence. It boils down to more than the fact that you have had a man yeah i'm trying my best to be really can tone down my my words you know yeah was the virgin mary the chosen one all because of the fact all because of the fact that she hadn't had a man yet she had a hymen intact the handmaid. You know what a handmaid is? It's a servant, a lawyer servant, owned, lawyer owned by a master, serving in all diligence and character and attitude in all ways. Really. Well, you know, I believe 
But you need to might you know the fact that you have an intact hymen and you haven't really had any sexual contact that involves penetration, you know. But then is that all Econox? Econox so I had a friend and she was an amazing friend and yes, she was really loud about the fact that she was a virgin. And at the end of the day, when it comes to her character, her attitude, and the way she treated guys, you know, there was nothing to write home about, about her character. You know, yeah, every time she's so obsessed with the whole fact that she's intact, that every time she's like here and there and she rubs it into your face, it was really really annoying and it got to a point someday where I told her you know considering the way you act this attitude that you have just to the fact that you think you're intact you know that you're intact and and all that and you feel you some kind of precious gold that every other thing about being a person a good person is more like none of your business you know it's not right so this is what I did on a very good day to a friend she was kind of obsessed with the whole fact that she is a virgin and it got to me in a really bad way because really just because you're intact you feel all other things don't matter you can just put up a dirty attitude and talk to people like they trash and act in every unpleasant way and feel like you are so precious as gold because you're a virgin in a world where people your age aren't like is that all is that it so I looked her straight in the eye and this was what I said girl with this attitude you put up all oh, because you're a virgin you have to go lose that shit and come back as a better person and i will take you back with two hands i will welcome you into my arms and i'll be really happy to do that i don't care if it's with a friend or my enemy that you go lose it come back with a better attitude and i promise you i will take you with all of my heart she felt really bad that i said that well, I just had to say that because she was up all in everybody's face like I'm gold, I'm precious, I'm intact, I haven't had sex, yeah. Then why you talk to me like that? Why you act like this? Why you act like that? Why you so cold? Like, come on. There are better things to life, better ways to act, and better things to be then just having an intact it doesn't the world doesn't revolve or end around having an intact vagina your attitude matters your character matters if the Virgin Mary was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus only because she had an intact pussy with a hymen in place then really I'm gonna doubt God's judgment but if she opened her mouth and said she is the handmaid of God then it's a character thing it's a submission thing it's more like a dedication thing the character the attitude you know was responsible for the attitude she got to be the mother of Christ so at the end of the day in my opinion like I will always say If you want to be a virgin, be a virgin at heart. Not just down there. Because whether it be before your wedding night or after your wedding night, you are no more that. But if you're a virgin here, no one can take it away. Not before or after the wedding night. It's still death. Do you party?